What is going on, guys? Wise here, coming in with a recap of one of the last wars for 2.0. Uh, this was our fuck far more spin, uh, kind of an event put on. I don't know exactly who put it up, but it was an absolutely fantastic idea. Um, so this was sort of like a potluck, but a little more uh, town hall focused. So uh, we had one sort of um, uh, league or whatever you want to call it, uh, which is just, it was all Town Hall 9s, 40 versus 40. Uh, I know Dr. D finished the recap and that is up on labs. Uh, one thing too about uh, about that guys, Dr. D has been killing it the last few Invicta recaps. Recently just took over for me. It was just two months doing doing between the two clans. So same channel, same everything. Um, you know, we work side by side. He's awesome. He's doing a really good job. So please, please, please go check his videos out. Uh, he's doing a fantastic job. He did the, uh, the Town Hall 9 recap uh, where Invicta matched. Oh, how am I forgetting who they matched? Oh, I forget their names. Uh, but whatever. Really good, really good job by Dr. D. So go check that out. So in the other other uh, spectrum of things, there was, I believe it was a 10 Town Hall 11 and 20 Town Hall 10. We're gonna have to jump over and check this out. Um, I am in a bit of a rush as well. I'm leaving for Florida. Yes, of all places to go in the world right now, I'm going to Florida. Just had a hurricane pass through, so our flights were delayed. I was actually supposed to be there right now. Um, now we're not flying out till tomorrow, probably for the best though. So 68-64, victory 2.0 over Dark Contingent. Really difficult to look at the score in a war like this, but there are some things we can take out of this. So 6, 7, 8, yeah, so 10 Town Hall t uh, 11s and... 20 Town Hall 10s. Yeah, exactly. Now, one thing I noticed, I think this really shows, um, you know, obviously there is a huge update on the horizon. Uh, I don't know if any of you have seen sneak peeks or anything. New defense, new troop levels, new troop strengths. This is a game changer. And I think it's for the best because when you look at a war like this, with these caliber quality Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 11s, leaving... All these bases to start. It just goes to show, I mean, I, I know Town Hall 11 should be, I mean, it's the strongest Town Hall level. It should be the most difficult to three-star. Um, you know, they got managed to get one on Maverick. We only managed to get one on their number 10 Q. So I think that's okay for Town Hall 11 because, like I said, it, I mean, right now Town Hall 11 is really focused on the bullies for 10s. And um, yes, it is nice to squeeze a, a three star at 11 versus 11, but it should be difficult. However, the way the game is moving, when you see that many Town Hall 10s, when it is literally a war full of Town Hall 10s attacking each other, and you, you don't see a more clear board than, than we do. I mean, you look at DC, they only had, Christ, one? Two, three, uh, three triples. Um, we did come away with a few more, but I think that just goes to show that hope, I'm trying to be very positive about, about this update. I know a lot of people, every update, everyone's going to complain or whatever, right? And I've been right there with them before. I mean, I'll never forget when they introduced Town Hall 11, that update, I was so pissed off at, the, at Supercell in this game. But now that I've kind of seen the light a little bit, I really do believe that this update is going to be a good update and, and a good thing for war and a good thing for Clash. Obviously, there's a lot of cool things. You know, the clan challenges um, are just going to be awesome. But just the way the game is played from 9, 10, and 11 town hall levels, it's going to be different. So let's jump in and start checking out some of these replays. I don't have a lot of time. We're literally leaving this afternoon to go meet my parents and then flying or driving over to Detroit. Staying there overnight, flying out at like 7 a.m. tomorrow to Orlando. So I'm pretty pumped. Bringing my little one. First time to Disney. So you're going to see a very common theme. Now, here, here's another little uh, thing that I took from, from watching all these replays. Not a lot of diverse attacks. No air attacks, right? Um, even though uh, the 2.0 crew is definitely extremely proficient at using dragon attacks when the base permits it. Um more and more and more often now we're seeing this shattered entry, bowlers with the kill squad, uh, just sending the heroes in behind the golems. Idea is to get as many objectives as you possibly can. You want to get, uh, definitely try and get an Inferno Tower, take care of the clan castle troops, uh, take care of the defensive heroes in the process. 
uh, and then go ahead and just kind of face roll miners in from one section of the base. Um, the way these bases, these sort of uh, X bases are, uh, are laid out, you can send your miners from one location from 12 to 3 or from 12 to 9 and they're just going to sweep across the base. You, you can kind of judge where they're going to go. Now, uh, his kill squad is pittered out already. Main objectives were taken care of. This is level one Inferno Tower. It is now taken down. Miners are standing under the heel. So they're looking pretty good at this point. There, there's quite a few defenses to go, right? King's doing a little bit of tanking on the outside, but he's going to die any second. There he goes. Um, but you know, I don't know. Like, at this point in the raid, no heal spells left. I'd be like, I don't know if I'm going to get this. But <laughs> Jasu comes away with it here, uh, has just enough miners to get the job done, right? There's only a couple point defenses. This wizard tower is looking a little bit scary on the outside. At least I know I would be. My miners never seem to cooperate this well, at least. I find when I send my miners in, they just don't last. I try and heal them, I'll double heal them, and they just do not last. But as you can see, Jasu's getting good value out of his miners here. Just got to work over these last few defenses. Down goes the Arch Tower. Down goes, oh, wow. Three miners left to get that tree star. Nice job there, buddy. But it's so, it's fragile. I mean, everyone complains about the miner spam. I mean, to me, the miner spam is more real at Town Hall 11 because they're so much stronger, right? Um, at least for me on my Town Hall 10, if I'm not placing my miners properly, I'm not even get close to a three star. And you can't just spam 25 miners in and expect to heal them and get the triple it's just not not realistic there's more to be said about minor placement and where you send your kill squad in and why and how you funnel your miners in then i believe most people lead are led to believe because yeah we all talk about the spamminess and it's more just the the fact that you're bringing a critical mass of miners you know, in this attack he does bring the six valks here i thought that was kind of neat um he's only bringing the cold-blooded golem so there's one goal. He's going to go ahead and send in six bouts with the kill squad now with uh, bowlers, I believe, in the CC. Or maybe it's just max miners in the CC and just using these bouts. But the idea is same idea as the bowlers. You're, you're just getting the good push into the base, using the bouts to make sure certain objectives go down, like that Inferno Tower, like the heroes, right? Um, bowlers take a little bit to get through heroes. Uh, those Valks just shredded them instantly under that raid. So Queen gets held up on that Hound. But again, so here come the Miners now. From the 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock, they're just going to kind of sweep through this whole bottom section of base. All sort of end up meeting at this Inferno Tower compartment. I love the King beating his way out here and going around. <laughs> Such an idiot. But it ends up working out because it starts to get the cleanup process done for the miners. He's got 26 of them, remember. Plus, sorry, I guess um, actually he's got uh, 33 because he, he brought seven in the clan castle. So a bunch of max miners in there doing work as well. They're all standing under heels. Uh, right hit three bombs while standing on her heels and is about to hit a fourth bomb over here so even though the bombs were set up perfectly for those miners uh -uh, just not enough to take care of them right they're going to continue working through these defenses queen's in there helping out as well still has her ability to go right just has just enough again to take care of this base and some i guess a little more than uh jazz who had on that last attack but oh three has just been killing it in invicta for us just absolute fantastic job buddy Treat it the bag. <laughs> so no bowlers and a cold-blooded entry. But again, so they're all sort of variations of this same attack, which is which is okay. I mean, the, but there, there just needs to be a little more diversity. And the fact that they're bringing witches back, the fact that the game is going to change cr like crazy. These uh, Who knows how these bomb towers are going to start affecting miners, are going to start affecting bowlers. Um... I am I'm really pumped to see how this game's gonna gonna be over the next uh, over the next month because once this update drops, guys, I think we're gonna see just craziness in the war community uh, and all for uh, all for the best. Um, I'm, I'm finally really really just staying positive and, and being very I'm very happy 
with what they've decided to do and what they've decided to add. And hopefully Supercell does a good job rolling it out. Uh, me and CAD will be getting together as well, I wanted to mention, and doing some new town online base building stuff. We're going to talk about how all these new troops and new defenses affect Town Hall 10 and affect Town Hall 11 and the changes that we have been seeing since the update rolled out. Um, a lot of guys do sneak peeks and talk about the updates and talk about, you know, especially guys like Clash with Ash and stuff. They get the opportunity to actually test these troops, but, uh, you know, obviously I do not. So my sort of stance is I like to wait and see the update rolled out. I like to see how it is actually affecting our gameplay over the first week or so of play. And then me and Kat come out and do a video and talk about things we've seen so far and talk about how the game has changed and what we've kind of been doing to sort of compensate for that. And I just think, I think the viewer gets a lot more benefit from seeing and hearing me and, you know, me and someone else discuss how it's been rolled out and how it's affecting the game actually once it's been live as opposed to just sort of guessing and, and speculating ahead of time. But anyhow, as you can see, going to be a tree in the bag here from my man Effie. This guy is just a monster. Basically gets a three-star every war. He just, he's, this is a friendly challenge freak. He is constantly doing friendly challenges, constantly trying new things on his town hall 10. Uh, Effie is just a blessing to have in our clan. I love this guy so much. <coughs> Excuse me. Just treat in the bag for the F man. <laughs> just barely hangs on to some of these attacks, right, guys? Like 10 versus 10 at this point is very, is not friendly. It, it really is not. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward to this update and seeing how it affects things. As you try and think about it, everyone says, oh, well, Town Hall 9 is the Town Hall 8, um, how it was back in the day, right? Well, no, because the differences in Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8, right? The Town Hall 9 still has a hell of a long, I guess, what am I trying to say? Town Hall 9 has such a huge piece of the player base for Clash of Clans because it is for people who are doing it somewhat legitly and not just gemming everything from start to finish. It takes a freaking long time to get your nine going. So with that being said, it's such a huge chunk of the player base. You, I don't believe you want it to be quite like Town Hall 8 is, right? You still want Town Hall 9 versus 9 to be a challenge. And that's going to keep it interesting for guys at, at that level. And keep it interesting so people don't mind doing a more natural progression through 9 to 10 and, and so on and keeping interested in the game. If you make it too easy at that level, there's a good chance a lot of people that either get to that level will do one of two things. They'll either just gem to Town Hall 10 or, or immediately upgrade to Town Hall 10 prematurely, which obviously we hate when, you know, you get these guys who have level, you know, Town Hall 7 and 8 uh, defenses but are already Town Hall 10. Or... They'll just quit the game because it, it's it's kind of easy and boring, right? If you're just spamming 30 hogs at a base and getting the triple without any sort of planning, well, it's not a lot of fun. So you do want to keep nine a challenge, but I do understand at the same token to make 10 a little bit easier. Like I'm talking like a smidge and, and easier is not the right word. I just want to see more diverse. I want you to be able to reasonably and realistically plan balloon attacks or, or Lalo attacks, right, at Town Hall 10. I want you to, you know, with these new witches, I want to see some witches out there. I want to see different army comps. You guys know, watching my recaps, I'm a huge fan of the diverse attacks. I, I you know, every recap, I generally always, if, if possible, especially the Town Online level, I try not show the same attack twice because I just think people find it interesting. You want to see all the different ways to triple a base and you want as a as a viewer you want to be able to watch different potential attack strategies that you can practice and find find one that's comfortable that you like and, and call your own right but when every single attack is some sort of little variation of bringing 25 miners and just sort of slightly changing up your kill squad whether that be a queen with five healers and a golem or two golems or three golems or one golem and some valkyries right like that when the changes at the level are only that large it just i don't know it, it's just not interesting so i'm really hoping that this update brings some serious diversity to town hall 10 and in in the same process makes it just a little bit easier 
for 10 versus 10 to come away at the triple just so we can see that transition in game but at the same token not forgetting about nine and basically just saying well too bad nine is going to be really easy now right okay so see same idea here i liked um I like the idea that uh, CAD uses here with the bowlers up at 12 o'clock, just working on that town hall and the king, right? So he he does like a double prong attack, does not bring a golem, <coughs> gets the funnel created using the king of bowlers and just walks them down the side and sends in the uh, miners in the middle. The miners take care of the queen, standing under the heel, no big deal. They're going to work through all these defenses. His queen did serious work down here, taking out an inferno tower, taking out all of this stuff and creating the funnel for the miners to continue to work through the center of the base. Queen does end up dying to the king here, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But no big deal. He's got... <coughs> oh, geez, excuse me. He's got an, uh, way more than enough miners working through here, standing on the heels. Healers even work over, lock on the miners, which is kind of nice as well. Still has those bowlers working around the outside. Definitely going to be a tree star at the back here. Boom. Bill Cosby. Tree in the bag. Good old beer Achilles. Oh, that's Tam Jam. Love Tam Jam. <clears throat> Definitely a pleasure having her in 2.0. She's just an awesome, awesome attacker and just an awesome climate. Um, so you can see Archer, Manny, right? Just very precise on uh, on dropping these troops, just getting, uh, getting these buildings out of the way. Same idea though, right? Two golems. Eight bowlers, I believe miners in the CC with uh, with a 21 minor count. So shattered entry in from three o'clock, just getting the wizards down, getting the funnel created nice and quickly. <coughs> Jeez Louise, sorry guys. Uh, so wall's gonna get opened up here in one, oh sorry, the jump spell, that's right. Uh, jump spell, that's everything in the queen chamber. A couple of bowlers walk off to the side, but no big deal. I might have brought a baby drag over for this section. It's really only that arch tower to worry about, but it doesn't matter. Um, you know, bowlers step up. Everything steps up. Clan Castle is about to be taken care of once that queen locks on. Down goes the baby D. Queen's going to finish off the expo. Step up and take care of that inferno tower in one second. So down goes the inferno. I believe that's about it for the queen here. But the miners have come in from the six o'clock spot. They're going to work around the base in a clockwise rotation. Couple more heal spells to go. First one is down. Just has way too many of these miners working through the bases. Only right for only these four town hall nine point defenses up here. It's just too much. Just absolutely too much with the, some mass or max miners in that mix as well. By a far way too many of them to, for the rest of that base to deal with. So gonna be a treat in the bag here. Nice job, Tam. Beauty. Um, let's look at here. 26. 26 on 22. So, Jacob going in. Uh, kind of interesting base design, right? Um, Jacob exploits it, though, I believe. Um, it's like a ring around the rosy here, around these Inferno Towers. And I see what the guy's thinking. Um, he's like, go ahead and walk around this moat. You're not going to target that Inferno Tower unless your queen gets in there and... Even then, is that no? It's three spaces. So, um, you know, he's like, "Go ahead, right? Walk around this moat. You're just gonna get uh, destroyed by the Inferno Tower." But you leave leave such a, a large amount of buildings free for archers and minis to just pick off on the outside. So probably for a matter of maybe ten to fifteen troop space, he got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Probably like 15 buildings for 15 troop space, I want to say, around. So that was a really, really good value there, Jacob. Goes ahead and gets that queen going in right at this queen uh, sort of section. <clears throat> Raid spell goes down. Going to let her walk right in and take care of that expo. Uh, Clan Castle comes out. It is a golem and a balloon, so really wants to get that double rage down. There it is. Balloon goes down. She's going to start working on this golem here. Rip through it very quickly under that raid spell. And goes ahead and drops a golem immediately on the wall. Bowler's in behind. They're just going to start working into this big, open, long ring around the rosy. Sends the miners in now from the uh, sort of 8, 9 o'clock area. <clears throat> Max miners come out of the CC. So uh, you're, he's going to get a two-pronged effect. The miners are going to work clockwise around the base, around this ring, and end up working into this Inferno Tower eventually. I believe I think this chunk gets in there. Yep. 
So that chunk uh, nicely goes in, takes care of that inferno. He's got the rest of them working around, and and his kill squad, the bowlers, are going to work counterclockwise and sort of end up uh, in that two pronged effect, like I talk about quite often. Right, you're getting uh, the miners working from one side, the, the king and bowlers and queen working from the other side, and they end up meeting up somewhere uh, around the middle. <clears throat> and it's just too much for the base, right? This Inferno Tower is doing exactly what this guy planned, right? Just picking off the miners, picking off the kill squad on the outside while they work on this stuff in the moat. But it's just too much, right? Like by the time this queen gets around the bend now, she is absolutely going to be able to uh, target that Inferno freely without any sort of delay whatsoever. Has a few miners left only kind of working on this can. I believe they pit her out here in a sec. But with the hero standing there at full health, that left that Inferno Tower does not stand a chance. King just needs to work through that cannon. Queen stepping up, locked onto the Inferno Tower now. Only a matter of time. This base is done for. Nice job, Jacob. Take care of this gold mine on the outside. Boom. <clears throat> very, very nice, my friend. <clears throat> and moving up. Okay, got one more to show. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of these uh, very high, um, you know, max out on tens left on the board, and I think that that really goes to show that that this community welcomes the update if it is gonna sort of rearrange how the town hall levels are working right now, and maybe make it a touch easier for touch easier for ten versus ten. I mean, I know I know doing that it makes it difficult to make nine versus nine easier, more difficult. Uh, but I think the way they did it, it it's, I don't want to say nine versus nine is easy, but for very experienced attackers, it's getting fairly easy. Um, you can at least find an army comp that you're very comfortable with and make it work on almost any base. doesn't matter the base design. Um, but with that being said, I don't think the way this update went made it easier than it currently is. Um, I think it still is a challenge for a, a large group of people. I think it, it's in a reasonably good place. I mean, Town Hall 9 base building is going to be insanely difficult, but it already was, right? I don't think it got too much more difficult. I think a lot of the same fundamentals will still apply. But at the same token, I believe they added more arsenal to 10 versus 10 and added enough to Town Hall 11 that it, it would kind of balance it. Again, we won't be able to tell until it's actually rolled out. We won't be able to actually tell until we start seeing some more attacks with it. But I, I really hope we get away from these attacks where it's like 30 miners using that Grand Warden to protect everything, um, right? And just popping your eternal tome at the right time, uh, making sure no uh, no bombs or anything uh, tricky takes uh, takes out your troops. And then you're looking good, right? So, um, I, I mean... Even if this, I mean, this, these boner attacks are still going to exist. I was watching Ash's video um, of, of what he was talking about. And the boner attack, 100%, will still be there. I just think there's going to be more options. I think there's going to be less reason for you to have to take this this style of attack. Um, and that's all good. And that's, those are all good things. And uh, I know a lot of people are really worried about this update and, and what's going to happen and what it means. And But we don't know, guys. We have no idea until we start seeing it in a war, seeing how it's used, letting guys do friendly challenge after friendly challenge, kind of figuring out the best way to use these troops and the best way to use these defenses. Um, and uh, only time will tell here. So I am really, really excited. Uh, Trumpy has been a huge benefit to us, side note, um, for Invicta. He just came up to Invicta not too long ago. Got the only 11 versus 11 three-star of the, of, not the, of the war, the, um, sorry, Dark Contingent had one as well. But for 2.0 at least, got our only 11 versus 11 three-star. Nice job, my friend. Welcome to our recaps. Anyhow, I got to go. Uh, a lot of stuff to do today. A lot of running around to do still. And then uh, heading over to my parents around dinner time. And we're going over to Detroit, like I said. Flying out to Disneyland. So uh, I may, I, I'm going to talk to Dr. D. Um, he should have a few videos coming out this week, uh, but you probably will not hear from me. I am back next weekend. So I will be able to cover uh, 2.0's uh, next weekend of Rage War. But other than that, uh, you guys will not hear from me until then. So that'll do it here for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.